Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. We've been having a lot of fun printing these plant pets by Blog Labs. There's five different variations and they've been a lot of fun to make, but there is a ton of waste between all of the different colors. We'd originally been running them on the Bamboo X1C, but with the five different color variations, it takes almost 20 hours to print and the waste is over 200 grams. Normally I would just assume that I should print them individually. Of course, the black and white eyes are the same throughout, but all the rest of the body are different colors. But this one by himself, he's still gonna be over 12 hours. Again, I thought, well, maybe it's because he's got all of these little dots all over. I really need to print some more Monsteras because I've sold a couple of these. But even this guy with his leaves is also going to be over 12 hours. So running all five together was more efficient, but now I have the H2D. So I want to see how much faster that will be, especially for this Monstera because that's the single one that I want to run and it's going to be about six hours which is better it's going to save about 50 grams of waste but i'm a little surprised that it's not going to be a little better i'm still getting used to this new slice screen and i didn't realize that some of the error that i'm seeing on this is that it's trying to connect to my number two printer which is a x1c not the h2d but i was trying to figure out if there was a way that it would be faster if I had two AMSs on the H2D. I don't, but I wanted to just see if there's a way to run that and at least see in the slicer what it's gonna do before I spend the money on getting another AMS because it's gonna magically fix all of my problems. But even after I play around with this a little bit, it's not changing the overall time. So I thought, okay, maybe I need to go back a screen and see if I need to sync it differently. It's not showing that I have an AMS on the screen before, so maybe if I add the AMS on both of these sides, maybe that'll adjust the overall time frame that it's gonna take for a six hour print. I start with one because that's what I have, and it does know that I have it, but it doesn't change the overall time. When I go to the next screen, it is syncing better. It's not giving me any errors, and it does look set up correctly that I would do, of course, the two different colors of green on the left and right nozzle, and a white and a black on the other parts to the AMS. But I'm still surprised that it's gonna take so long and still have so much waste. So I go back and add an AMS on the other side. I don't know if this is gonna work because it may not sync, but okay, it's, it's asking me to sync later. It's still, once it gets sliced at six hours, it didn't change anything. I'm sure I'm missing something, but this is all I have anyways. Yeah, even if I mess with this, it's having a little bit of an issue because it's not syncing. So I'm just gonna run this and see how it looks. Both of these greens are temperature change, so they print really bright yellow and then they get a darker green once they've cooled. This printed really well. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go on the textured sheet, but they pop off easy. I do see a little bit of a blob there that I'm able to remove, but there are just the tiniest little fine lines of black in the white eyes that I don't love. There is some stringing. Overall, they printed pretty good but not perfect. These printed pretty good. They don't have too much stringing and I don't see any weird color strips on those. But I wanna see if I can make this faster and better. So I'm gonna run this on the Prusa XL and compare overall how it's gonna work. I start with all five variations and this will take just under eight hours. So a huge difference and for just the single Monstera, which is what I'm really interested in, it's going to take under three hours. What I typically do on the XL, I flipped my colors. So my darker and my lighter green are actually the opposite of what I wanted, but it did print okay, so I let it continue. These plant people are so cute. Okay, the eyes look really good. There's very, very little stringing. This looks really nice. I popped this off pretty soon after it was done printing, so it's still kind of the darker color, but you can see that I've got them flipped from the X1C on the right. Definitely the eyes are better on the XL on the left. There's less stringing. It just printed a little smoother. I am running a 0.4 nozzle on both of them. Both of them are 0.2 layer height. 
I would just say overall on this one, the Prusa XL did quite a bit better on the print. The leaves turned out really good as well and I don't see practically any stringing. These leaves have what look like almost like a heart shaped base and so when you put them in, you have to put them in in a certain direction. They don't just spin in place, but that helps you know exactly how they're gonna all fit together. There are smaller ones and larger ones, and this is how I usually have them with the smaller ones on the bottom and the larger ones on the top and then on the left here as well. Then I grabbed the leaves from the H2D and realized that I hadn't put this together and I can't get these leaves to fit. At first I thought, well, maybe I had the wrong size in the wrong slot, but none of these want to fit. I mean, they are like jamming in there and I'm having a really hard time even removing them. So the tolerance is different, which is crazy because I ran this on the X1C, no problem. Ran it on the XL, no problem with the size. But for some reason on the H2D, I can't get them to fit together. Okay, let's compare the waist. So the XL has about 17 grams for the tower. That is the only waist is the tower. We have 33 grams on the H2D for just the tower. The black and the white you can see really had a lot of waist difference, but the, between the two different print heads, the green, there was barely any waist, of course. 87 grams of waist on the H2D, so definitely a lot less waist on the XL, better overall eyes and it actually fits together on the XL. So I would say that the Prusa XL did much better on this print overall for the Monstera plant people. I really thought it was going to be a lot closer call than that one honestly. So here is the one that I had run on the X1C, the overall look. It does fit together, the leaves fit, and I would say that the XL is still a little bit smoother. You can see a little bit on the leaves, it's just a little bit messier on the X1C. Now that it's cooled, you can see on the XL. The X1C does have the galaxy black for the eyes, so that's what that little difference in the shimmer is. But other than that, these are using the same color of green filament on every single printer. I just moved it from one printer to the next. It is just, especially that leaf, like at the bottom, I mean, it's minimally different. I would probably still go with whichever one has less waist, but that is the XL. So that one is just doing much better. Let me know if I'm missing something here in the way that I sliced any of these things. I know that only having one AMS on the H2D is probably hindering me a little bit, but overall for this specific item, I would say that the XL is a lot better. Let me know your thoughts. If four colors, you're finding the same thing on the H2D. Thanks for watching.